How much is that? It's a uh, half a cup of celery mm -hmm. and a third of a cup of onion. Cool. Cut up to about the same size. And how many pounds of ground beef do you have there? It's a pound and a half of the leanest you can get. Eighty-three seventeen. No, this is, this is ninety-three. Oh, ninety-three. Ninety-three seven. So you really don't want me to get fat. <laughs> she speaks with wisdom. And the beef has been shot. Looks like a brain. Look at that. Mm. Okay, so Pepper it. Some cracked black jack. As the drunk cook would say. Got some sea salt. Oh. All right, so you got the breadcrumbs in there, you got the celery, the onion. What else did you put in there? Mustard powder. Mustard powder. Garlic powder. Garlic powder. Um, breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs, of course. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Cracked blackjack and the, and the sea salt. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And then the wet ingredients. And then the wet ingredients. Go ahead and pour it in. Look at that. Okay. Which consists of an egg. Milk. And Worcestershire? And Worcestershire and milk and... Yep, that's it. Don't okay. mix it. Alright. Well, while my wife is stepping on a step stool and mixing this together, <laughs> she's going to combine the ingredients together, which doesn't look like brains anymore. It actually looks like mush. Okay. And that's a good thing because you want mush, right? Yeah, but you, you, don't, want, you don't want to overmix your stuff. Right, right. You don't want the, milk, uh, the meat to get flimsy through your hands. You still want it to be... Strong yet good enough to where moisture and everything gets through it and cooks it thoroughly. Look at that. There she goes. She's massaging it. Which, if she ever did that to my back, I'd be very grateful. That'd be awesome. You want to just get everything in there? Yeah, get everything in there. I'm probably overmixing this a little bit. Ah, uh, that's fine. That's fine. All the parts of the egg need to find a home. And that's what Sarah is doing. She's actually a real estate agent for uh, egg parts. She needs to find it a home with inside the meat. That sounds silly. That does sound silly, but that's the way it is. Look at that. Perfect loaf. Perfect loaf. Now, what are you going to do after this, Sarah? I'm going to pop it in its pan. going to pop it in its pan. Okay. Do you have to spray the pan down? Yeah, I just spray a little canola oil on a paper towel and just... Push it around. Okay. And how many degrees are you going to cook it at? 350. For how long? Um, about 45 and then a, and about then the 45 minutes and then 15 and then I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put, put ketchup. ketchup on it and then let it do it for 15 more minutes. Mm -hmm. See, Rachel Ray ain't got shit on Sarah. And Sarah doesn't have sausage fingers, so that's a I good thing. Okay, there's that. I'm just going to pop it in the pan. Then. Yum. Putting some love on top of the meat and loaf. Looks good, babe. She's painting a picture on it. She's doing a Bob Ross painting. Show me some happy little clouds. Happy little clouds. What about the trees? There you go. Very nice. Alright, so this is the finished product. We're going to let it sit for a few minutes. The wife is doing a fabulous job. Look what else she did for me. She made some green beans with a little bit of bacon bits. So you ain't going to add no salt to it. And that's perfect. And then my favorite, baby red mashed potatoes. Which, yeah, it's instant. I'm going to tell you something right now about these instant potatoes. They are the stuff. These are the things that if you don't want to freaking cut and peel potatoes all day, you just uh, get you one of these bags at your local grocery store. You can even moderate it if you want. You can put some butter, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, but she does it perfect, so there is no need for any of that. So uh, there we go. We got a three course meal going. Got the mashed potatoes, Idahoan style. We got the green beans, a little bit of bacon bits, no butter added, no salt needed. And we got the perfect meatloaf. That's it for now. Have a good night.